Well, as we approach the new year, it's a time for new beginnings, whether it's a boyfriend or a bad habit, or maybe it's both you've had enough of. Today's the day to do something about it. It's National Good Riddance Day. ABC for, or ABC's Will Gans has the details. Trash the pandemic right there. Go for it. Hit that punching bag. Bash it. Good Riddance Day 2022. Revelers in Times Square trashing and bashing the things they're ready to leave behind. Saying goodbye to Russia's attack on Ukraine. Second, my personal cost semester gas, meaning my decision to skip a semester. And third, the drastic increase of celebrity deaths. And dashing towards the end of the year. Come on, Vanessa, make some noise for Vanessa! Yes! Visitors of all ages taking to Times Square to share what they are saying good riddance to in 2023. <laughs> Falling off the beam at gymnastics, Hunter's falling off the beam in gymnastics. From being off balance to canceled flights to more personal promises. So in 2023, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of doubt that I had in 2022. Um, I just want to enjoy life more, have more experiences, take a dance class without worrying if I'm going to be like Beyonce and be amazing and just have fun at it. According to the Times Square Alliance, the festivities are inspired by a Latin American tradition in which New Year's revelers stuffed dolls with objects representing bad memories and then set them on fire. But keeping with modern times, this 16th annual Good Riddance Day in Times Square found life online, too. Goodbye to that bad relationship that I allowed to hold me back. Goodbye to having guilt. Goodbye to the 2022 me. Leaving the stress behind. What are you saying good riddance to in 2022? I would say stress. It's just there's no time for it. Turns out a lot of us hope to be stress free in 2023. There are so many documented psychological benefits of writing and releasing your heavier feelings, and this exercise can help you prioritize your problems, fears, and concerns. So why not celebrate your own belated good riddance day? Will Gans, ABC News, New York.